Okay, hey everyone, my name is Skyler. I'm pitching on behalf of Greensorbs. Uh, we're a group dedicated to finding a better alternative for oil spill collection. So every year, there's an average of 100 oil spills in Canada alone. This amounts to about 5 million liters of oil released into the environment. Right now, one of the most common methods used to capture this oil and get it out of the environment is a sorbent boom. That's a white thing in the picture here you guys can see. It's made of a polymer fiber that accepts oil while rejecting water. Right now, one of the major problems is that this fiber can be expensive. So we're looking to make a cheaper boom. Uh, so what we've looked into is a waste stream, specifically tire landfill waste, that's highly incentivized to use tires out of landfill in Ontario. Uh, so specifically, there are three products that are made when you recycle a tire. The first is the steel, the second is crumb rubber. These two are readily reused in industry all the time. Uh, there's a lot of applications for them. The polymer fiber, however, has no applications and it's going to stay in the landfill. So we want to use this polymer fiber in our sorbent booms. So what we've done so far is lab scale testing on three commonly spilled oils, as well as on six commercially available booms and our own material. That's the last one on the right here. So what we've seen is that this material does compare with the other commercially available options. Uh, what we plan to do with the $5,000 is scale up to full-size prototypes as well as lab to in-field testing. In Canada, it's highly regulated where you can test this stuff, so this money will go towards any fees associated with field testing as well as the material we need to purchase for full-size prototypes. Uh, so a bit about the market. The organizations that use these are dedicated to oil spill recovery, um, getting it out of the environment. An example is the Coast Guard. Another main group that uses this is uh, oil manufacturers as well as distributors. They have a responsibility to clean up after themselves. So the total North American market for booms is a billion dollars. Um, and we're looking into getting in this by developing a business plan where we build these sorbent booms and sell directly to organizations such as these. Uh, if we can sell to 10 organizations when we start up, we're looking at profits of 3.5 million per year. Um, and uh, some of the benefits, that's why they would choose our product over the competitors. First of all, it's 25% lower costs. It, uh, it has 30% higher performance, absorbing eight times its mass in oil versus other industry standards, which we've recorded to be six times their mass in oil. Uh, lastly, it's environmentally responsible. So these booms are essentially gonna sit in the landfill until we use them. Uh, we're estimating that for every responder that fully switches over, that's 25,000 kilograms of, land, of landfill waste removed. So a bit about the team, it consists of myself as well as three of my colleagues in chemical engineering. Uh, we've also spoken to numerous customers, uh, notably ECRC. They're the largest deployer of sorbent booms, and we spoke with them to just make sure that our product is desirable and usable in the industry. Uh, with lower costs and higher performance, we really think that these booms are going to dominate the market. Uh, thanks for listening to our pitch, guys.